Now for this last part of the question, we are asked to calculate the least number of calls that need to be made by a representative for the probability of at least one sale to exceed 0.95. Now to do this, we already know that this follows a binomial distribution. And if we define a random variable, let x be the random variable number of sales made where x follows a binomial model, n trials, probability of success is 0.15. Then what we're looking for is this. We're looking for the probability of x being greater than or equal to 1. Okay, That's at least one sale. And it's got to exceed 0.95. So it's got to be greater than 0.95. So how do we work out the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1? Well, it's best to do the converse of this, and that is to do 1 minus the probability that x equals 0. It's the only value that's left. And that has to be greater now than 0.95. So if we rearrange this inequality by adding the probability that x equals 0 to both sides, and subtracting 0.95 from both sides, then you're going to end up with, therefore, the probability that x equals 0 is going to be less than 1 minus 0.95, which is 0.05. Now, in order to do this, we now need to work out the probability x equals 0 from this distribution. Now, in the usual way, we should be familiar with this result. So when we're looking at the probability that x equals 0, r being 0, we therefore have n c0 multiplied by p, p being 0.15, and that's to the power 0, and then we've got 0.85q, in other words, to the power n minus r, that's the power n. And that's got to be less than 0.05. Effectively, what we've got is essentially n failures. So that's why you just left with 0.85 to the power n, because n c0 is 1, 0.15 to the power 0 is 1. So we therefore just have 0.85 to the power n has to be less than 0.05. Now you could keep typing in various values of n, knowing that n has to be an integer. You could do this by trial and improvement, but the best way I think of doing this is by logs. And I'm assuming you're familiar with using logs. Now I'm going to take logs to base e, the natural logs, and if I did that, I would therefore have the natural log of 0.85 to the power n is less than the natural log of 0.05. Using the power rule for logs, okay, I can bring the power n out to the front. So I therefore have n multiplied by the natural log of 0.85 is less than the natural log of 0.05. This is where you've got to be very careful because we need to divide both sides by the natural log of 0.85, but the natural log of 0.85 is a negative value. You can check it out on your calculator, but you should know that without really using your calculator because the log of any number less than 1 is going to be a negative number. So 0.85 is a number less than 1, so I know that's going to be negative. And because it's negative, and I'm dividing by a negative number, I need to reverse the inequality. So that's a place where it's so easy to trip up. So we've got the natural log of 0.05 divided by the natural log of 0.85. And if you work this out on your calculator, you therefore get that n has to be greater than 18.433 and so on. So we're asked to find the least value of n, so therefore the least value okay, 
of n, what's it going to be? Well, it's got to be an integer, and that least value has to be 19. Okay, so I hope you've been able to follow my methods there.